everyone and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Cat's Bit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video. Of course, you know I appreciate your time and attention very much and kittens love when you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It makes kittens happy. All right, so make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Click that button, make it happen, do it today. It keeps me motivated to do these videos right here, free on YouTube. So subscribe today. All right, so listen, uh, this is a requested video. Somebody asked me to show you something that, you, you know, some of you might consider to be very simple, but sometimes people have trouble getting density with uh, film positives and maybe they're using an office inkjet printer or some kind of inkjet printer that they're maybe not able to tweak things so much. Maybe they're printing out a software that they can't do the CMYK color rich black or they're not using RIP software which you know RIP software will print a little bit more black ink usually a little bit. Um, so um, you know in that case a lot of people will double up the film. Okay so I want to show you kind of the easiest way to do that um, and if I can say um enough in this video you know it's it's very simple it's it's really easy to do but I'll show you the two kind of uh, methods or two ways that you can do it and one way is using a light table like we have here so well let's look at that first uh, but I want to mention that you know when you double up film and you should only double it up. If you're doubling, tripling, or quadrupling, that's a very bad thing to do because what happens when you double film up is you're increasing the thickness of the acetate or the clear film, right? And it allows more opportunity for the light to go around the film positive, okay? So you really don't wanna double up film unless you absolutely positively must, okay? so. Let's show you a couple of ways that make it really easy to line up the film so that it's nice and precise and doesn't cause any uh, resolution loss. All right, so um, here, here are a couple pieces of film that I printed before I cleaned my print heads. <laughs> so uh, they're actually got, they have banding and stuff in them and they're not very opaque. So, you know, in the instance that, you know, you have to double up film, this is what I would do. If you have an exposure unit with proofing lights, use the proofing lights. Don't use the UV lights because you don't want to be staring into UV light necessarily. Okay, so the first thing you really should do is dog ear some tape and the first piece you're going to tape down onto the light table. Okay, now to make it really easy, to tape this film on here with second piece, just simply cut it out. Make sure you don't go too fast and cut your design. <laughs> I've done that back in the day when I didn't have such a good printer and stuff. All right, so you cut it out and that way you're gonna be able to line it up, okay? And then you can tape it. Okay, so that's very easy, right? very simple you're gonna need you know a light box some people might have them for photography for proofing film some people might have them in the screen print shop for uh, looking at film positives or like I said you may have a you know an exposure unit with proofing lights which are just gonna be amber or yellow lights so just tape down the first piece then cut the second piece so that it fits on top and simply proceed to line it up and then tape it together, okay, plain and simple. I won't tape this one because I'd have to get really close. I'm kind of blind, so I can't see. So I'd have to get my big fat head in the way of the camera and, um, and line them up. Plus, I'm gonna show you another little trick. If you don't have a light box or a proofing, you know, proofing lights on your exposure unit, there's one other thing you can do that uh, you might not have thought of, but uh, let me see if I can show this to you in the event that you do not have a light box or proofing lights in your exposure unit. Oh, and by the way, before we go to show you the second way that you can double up film easily is, you know, don't forget, if you're, if you're really having uh, issues with density and you're having to double up your film, you might want to try a yellow or red film positive. Okay, 
There's actually a video I made about this and it explains what that's all about and how it works, but you can see this screen right here. Okay. This is the Jack White screen that I did. All right, it was made with this yellow film positive. Okay, and the yellow film positive is actually completely transparent or translucent, whatever the correct word would be. And um, as you may know from my previous videos, because you watched them all, right? You've watched all of my videos, I'm sure you have, because they're so compelling and interesting, right? Uh, you know that um, emulsion is blind to yellow or red light. And furthermore, it's only responsive specifically to UV light. Okay, so if you're having some major difficulties doubling up film, getting film density, take a look at my video about using, the experimental video about using red and yellow film positives. Okay, so the lighting here is not ideal for doing this because we're shooting into the window here, but I wanted to just show you, if you don't have a light box or you don't have um, proofing lights on your exposure unit or anything like that, then you can simply use a window in your home or a window in your office and preferably one that does not have graphics on it <laughs> because it'll be easier if it's just a clear window all right and just basically you're gonna do the same thing that we did on the exposure unit you're gonna tape the big piece to the window and then proceed to cut trim the second piece so it fits on top right and you're gonna use this as your light table and you're gonna Go ahead and line it up and tape it same way okay it's just a different thing i don't have a window that doesn't have graphics on it sorry so i'm just kind of showing you that yeah you can actually use a window in your house or a window in your office or what have you to do the same thing as a light table or an exposure an exposure unit you know with uh, proofing lights okay so that's it and then you know you line this up Again, I'm not going to line it up and tape it because my fat head will be in the way of everything. And, uh, you know, take your time, line it up, make sure it's really precise, and then proceed to tape it down to the big film piece on the bottom. And that's it. That's pretty easy. I think, you know, the cutting the one piece and making it smaller than the other piece makes it really easy to tape on top. And then of course, using a light box or a scenario like this makes it really easy to see and line it up. Okay, so that's it, it's, it's as easy as that. All right, that's it for today. That's all I have for you, just a quickie there. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I really do appreciate your attention here. And uh, when you subscribe, I really do. I see the numbers go up and I really appreciate that. So it does keep me motivated. So please subscribe. And of course, if you need screen printing equipment or supplies, check out catspitscreenprintsupply.com. If you have any questions, just give me a call. Thanks a lot for watching. And of course, we will see you next time.